Hey guys welcome back to my channel so today's wig is from wow african guys they were kind enough to send me their short pixie cut indian hair lace front wig and yes as the title says as it says pixie cut is a short wig the knots are pre-bleached and pre-plucked as well as it has baby hairs and this cap construction is a glueless um lace front wig cap this hair guys is eight inches in length i did go ahead and pluck the hairline just a bit more because it was still a little bit like you know full so i went ahead and i plucked the hairline some more i also sprayed some sally henson spray tan legs just on the like the front part of the lace just a little bit because one section to me seemed like it needed some kind of spray so that's what I did but guys I pre plucked the hair on my mannequin and this is what it's looking like I really was not feeling the part at all and I'm just gonna show y'all how I like transformed this wig big shout outs to um, Wow African for sending us this unit to review and guys, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, be sure to subscribe. If this is your first time, welcome to my channel. If you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much for always returning and supporting your girl. Please continue like, you know, to support me. Leave me a like, leave me a comment, and turn your post notifications on so you never miss a thing when I do upload. So guys, I measured the lace and I'm just cutting off, well, I cut off the ear tabs so the lace fit my head correctly that's the first thing i did i lined it up and i cut the extra lace at the side so our hair is aligned up and i'm just like measuring everything out just so once i get the glue it'll be you know correct so i'm gonna go in with some glue um i went in with an eyeliner like a brown eyeliner just to like mark where i would want to stop the glue so i'm gonna mark this the area and then i'm gonna put the glue behind that area because i didn't want the glue coming too far in front of the hair instead i wanted to have the glue towards the back so when i do cut the lace off there's not a lot of cleanup and any areas that i miss i can just go in and just like you know fill those areas in it's better to put like the hair the glue behind where you want the lace versus in front because you're gonna have a lot of cleanup i really hope that made some kind of sense and i'm using the ghost bond glue and i'm gonna do two layers i did the first layer and then i'm gonna just take my fingers and you know spread that out you can always use a like i use a disposable knife a spatula like any any um any like a uh what you call that like a, a popsicle stick like anything that's clean you can use to spread the glue out and i just like wipe my fingers off with like alcohol and, and then i use it to just like spread the glue out and i did wipe my forehead down with alcohol before just so that there's no no like dirt or anything that would stop the hair from like you know adhering to the glue stop the um the process in any way so that's what I'm doing and I'm spreading the hair out and yeah after that dries I'm gonna go in with another layer so I use like two layers you can do more layers if you so prefer but I was good with two layers because I don't I, well I didn't plan on keeping the wig on like past three days but it can definitely last longer so as the glue gets clear i'm adding like another layer and then once that's clear we're gonna set our lace into the glue and then the melting process is going to start can i talk <laughs>
And then after the after the glue gets really clear, I'm just going to pull the lace down. And I literally just pull the lace and test to as to where I want to set the lace before pressing it into the skin. So guys, you, you are able to move the lace around just a bit if you don't press it into your skin like at the same time. And once you've like set the hair exactly where you want it, then you can go ahead and press it into the skin, which is what I'm doing. And I'm just using my rat tail comb and I'm combing the lace into the glue. So it's just like setting the hair on the glue. And that's really what I'm doing. And as I was saying earlier, where I put the glue behind the actual lace, so I really have less cleanup. So even, I think it works out better. What am I saying? I think it's, it works out way better when you put the glue a little bit behind where you actually want to place the lace so you have less cleanup. So once I cut the extra lace off, I'll just go in and just fill the little spots that need glue. going in right now um, with a little mini scissors that I got at my beauty supply store and I'm just cutting the lace off and I'm cutting it in like in like zigzag motions jaggedy I don't want to cut it straight because you don't want it to just look weird so I'm cutting it in like little zigzag motions and yeah that's basically um, it in terms of cutting the lace that's all that I do And now that the lace is off, guys, like, I don't know. This wig was giving me Joanne the Scammer vibes. <laughs> like, the parting was stressing me out. I didn't think, like, how they made it with the part. I didn't think it suited me at all. So I was just trying to figure out how to, like, reposition the part and just make it to my liking. I was over there, like, struggling until I decided to, you know what? I'm just going to switch the part up completely and flip it to the other side. Like, we're going to move from Joanne the Scammer to just, like, fab, okay? And I'm going in with some um, Nairobi um, foam. And I'm just using that to help me with my part. And I'm adding some makeup, well, some concealer on my part just to define the part a bit more because this was not the original part and I literally just made that part. So just to define it a little bit more, I'm going in with the concealer. And I am going to go in with my hot comb, guys. And yep, your girl finally bought a new hot comb. <laughs> so I'm going in with my hot comb and I'm just, you know, pressing the roots so everything is just nice and flat. And I'm going in with some got to be gel just to make some little like, you know, edges. At first I didn't want to do uh, baby hairs, but then uh, I ended up doing it. And I'm not mad at it because the hair turned out pretty cute. You could wear it without baby hairs. Tell me what y'all think down below if you would have worn it without baby hairs. So 
so I'm back guys and that's what I'm looking like with my makeup done and I was really starting to feel this hair I did use my um my flat irons and I put a few like curls randomly all over and then I pinned them with some um with some curling pins is it curling pins or hair pins one or bobby pins one of those but yeah I pinned them with some bobby pins yes and I just went back in with my flat irons and I shaped the hair some more and I redid the curls in some areas and I really am pleased with how this hair turned out because honestly when I just started I was just like nah um what are we gonna do with this but you know your girl is the queen of finesse and I ended up like finessing this unit completely to my liking and I worked it until it suited me so I feel like if you get this unit you definitely have to just like play with it until you get something that frames your face and works for your like face because everybody's face is different and what looks cute on me you know it might not look the same with you so you just have to play around with it until you get it to your liking and I'm loving how this looks and I'm really glad I changed the part like I really am let me know your thoughts down below guys and this hair it didn't shed I mean it's a pixie so there wasn't any shedding going on and it was very it's very short I mean to say and guys the only problem that I thought I had with this hair was the back whereas I had some really big like braids underneath I didn't um have really flat braids I feel like if my braids were flat it would have like laid more but I feel like the the braids gave it some kind of like um definition like it added to it because it made it um it gave it body in the back I don't know and the nape area I added some hair pins some bobby pins like maybe one or two because I felt like the back of my head was not like laying as flat as I would have liked but I really enjoyed this unit and I think it looks super are good like let me know down below what y'all think do y'all like this unit are y'all feeling it like let me know i really enjoyed it and i hope y'all enjoyed this video if you're interested in this hair then it's in the description box below so be sure to check that out thank you guys oh so much for watching and i'll catch you in my next one and yes this we are slaying period it's the holiday season it's time to get glam and this hair really gave me that vibe